First to break the news this morning, Russian hacking group APT29, which is also known as Cozy, Cozy Bear, Bear, is used behind a classic the report. technique. Russia is not the only country that's Russian hackers engaged. got access to sensitive parts of the White The Russians House. are denying that they are behind this cyber attack the Russian on the hacking US team government. called Cozy Bear. Oh, Cozy Bear. 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 Those are the code names given to the well-known groups of hackers believed to be tied to the Russian government. This hacking group is responsible for almost all of the significant cyber attacks in the world, bringing even the mighty US government to its knees. Welcome back to our channel. I'm your host, and this is The Crime Files, where we get you captivating crime stories of all time. Today, we delve into another hacking group that has taken the digital world by storm, breaking into the most secure networks and managing to escape every time. Cozy Bear. Just hearing the name sends shivers down the spines of cybersecurity experts worldwide. This chilling moniker actually refers to the infamous APT-29, a group that's earned a spot on the US federal government's list of digital security nightmares. They're not just any hackers, they're a full-fledged advanced persistent threat group from Russia, and rumor has it they're pretty close with Russian intelligence agencies. The Dutch General Intelligence and Security Service, known as AIVD, have been dropping hints that this cyber crew might be under the command of Russia's very own intelligence agency, the SVR. The US and a bunch of other countries seem to agree. To make matters worse, there are whispers connecting them to the Russian Federal Security Service, the FSB. No one knows which theory is true. Cozy Bear isn't just a one-trick pony. They go by many names that are as elusive as their skills. Cozy Car, Cozy Duke, Dark Halo, and the Dukes are the tip of the iceberg. Their digital exploits cover the globe, leaving digital footprints that only the sharpest minds can decipher. So, how does Cozy Bear pull off its digital feats? A peek behind the curtain reveals their methods and technical wizardry. The roots of their digital heist trace back to 2008, with the Mini Duke malware as their first weapon. Written in assembly language, it's a prime example of their technical know-how. By 2010, they were already sneaking into diplomatic and government networks, fine-tuning their skills in the shadows. Now, their famous weapon, their Cozy Duke malware. It's got a backdoor, a dropper, and a one-way ticket to command and control servers. They customize this malware for every environment, leaving traditional defenses in the digital dust. Their malware's backdoor components evolve with time, changing to cryptography, Trojan functionality, and anti-detection measures. Their pace is reminiscent of Fancy Bear, a fellow Russian adversary. And get this, they even swap toolkits like Chopstick and Core Shell. The relationship between the two groups is still unknown. The connections between their Cozy Duke malware and other campaigns like Mini Duke, Cosmic Duke, and Onion Duke are still unsolved. Cozy Bear's digital signature is unmistakable, a true work of cyber art. With every target, they pull out all the stops, wielding tool sets that speak the language of Russia. If you're enjoying this video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss an update from our channel. Now, let's talk Hammer Toss. This remote access tool is so mind-boggling that even seasoned analysts are left in awe. They hide their command data in seemingly innocent websites like Twitter and GitHub. Yep, they're boldly communicating under their adversaries' noses, rendering detection a near-impossible task. And then there's Sidu. This Trojan is as rare as it is mighty, reserved for the creme de la creme of targets. They're playing a sneaky game of hide-and-seek within systems already compromised by their trusty Cozy Duke malware. It's like the digital equivalent of a strategic masterpiece. As we dig deeper into the operations of APT-29, let's talk about the trail of attacks that have shaken governments and institutions across the globe. One of their most ambitious undertakings is Nemesis Jemina, a project that sets its sights on the military, government, energy, diplomatic, and telecom sectors. Cozy Bear's targets vary, ranging from organizations from Germany, Uzbekistan, South Korea, and the US. In 2014, they managed to infiltrate the inner sanctums of power, breaching the hollowed halls of the US State Department and even the White House, leaving an incredible mark on its cybersecurity history. In a display of audacity, Cozy Bear pulled off the Office Monkeys campaign in 2014, 
After infiltrating a Washington, D.C.-based research institute, they devised an email campaign to deceive unsuspecting victims. Posing as a harmless flash video featuring office monkeys, they concealed malicious executables within, comprising government networks and installing the infamous Mini Duke malware. The summer of 2014 marked a pivotal moment in Cozy Bear's story. The Dutch General Intelligence and Security Service infiltrated their digital lair, uncovering a grand plan targeting the U.S. Democratic Party, the state government, and even the White House itself. This revelation spurred the FBI to investigate the tangled web of Cozy Bear's operations. Cozy Bear's audacity knew no bounds as they struck at the heart of the Pentagon in August 2015. Their spear phishing cyber attack on the Pentagon's email system forced the shutdown of the Joint Staff's unclassified email system and internet access, an unprecedented event that underscored their reach and influence. 2016 marked a turning point, with Cozy Bear and the infamous Fancy Bear Group jointly implicated in the Democratic National Committee cyber attacks. Though sharing space within the same servers, these two adversaries seemed unaware of each other's presence. As the world watched, it became evident that Cozy Bear's craft was refined, suggesting an origin separate from its counterpart, Fancy Bear perhaps emerging from another corner of Russia's intelligence landscape. The canvas of Cozy Bear's exploits extended to post-election times in 2016. Spear phishing campaigns meticulously aimed at the U.S. think tanks and non-governmental organizations displayed their unwavering commitment to their covert agenda. Cozy Bear's transgressions transcended borders, making waves in Norway in 2017. An audacious spear phishing attempt on the email accounts of high-ranking officials left the Norwegian government reeling. These brazen acts of digital aggression were labeled as a serious attack on our democratic institutions by Prime Minister Ernest Soldberg. As if their reach wasn't far-reaching enough, the Dutch ministries were under siege in 2017. Cozy Bear and Fancy Bear orchestrated coordinated hacking attempts, their sights set on sensitive government documents. This revelation led to unprecedented security measures, with the Dutch general elections votes being counted by hand a testament to the gravity of the situation. When it seemed that Cozy Bear might have vanished into the shadows, it re-emerged in 2019 with newfound vigor. The discovery of three new malware families, Polyglot Duke, Reg Duke, and Fat Duke, under the umbrella of Operation Ghost, showcased their evolution and resilience. They surely know how to innovate. Even the global pandemic couldn't curb Cozy Bear's ambitions. In 2020, accusations flew as they were suspected of attempting to steal data on COVID-19 vaccines and treatments being developed by the U.S. The crescendo of Cozy Bear's audacious campaigns echoed throughout 2020, culminating in the infamous Sunburst malware supply chain attack. This attack, which targeted SolarWinds and countless others, sent shockwaves through the cybersecurity landscape. Cozy Bear's fingerprints were unmistakable, leaving no doubt about the group's responsibility. Even Microsoft's threat intelligence, the biggest cybersecurity team in the digital world, fell prey to this group. They recently brought to light highly targeted social engineering attacks that have shaken the foundations of cybersecurity. APT-29 attacked under the disguise of helpful tech support staff in the corridors of Microsoft Teams chats. Their weapon of choice? Phishing lures concealed as innocent chat messages. Their goal? To steal the coveted login credentials from a myriad of global organizations. But how do they pull off these digital masquerades? The answer lies in the art of compromise. The APT-29 strategically infiltrates the Microsoft 365 accounts of unsuspecting small businesses. From there, they fashion new domains that bear a striking resemblance to legitimate technical support entities. And here's the kicker. They ingeniously incorporate the word Microsoft into these domains, adding an air of authenticity that even seasoned professionals might struggle to discern. With a well-aimed strike, they targeted approximately 40 global organizations, leaving digital chaos in their wake. However, it's not all doom and gloom. The defender of cyberspace, Microsoft, swiftly leaped into action. By thwarting the hackers' attempts to wield these malicious domains, they managed to curtail the threat. But the story is far from over, as their hacking ideas keep innovating. And that's all for today. What do you think about this sophisticated hacker group? Let us know in the comments below. Stay tuned if you want to learn more about this and other hacking groups. Check out our other videos for more shocking crime stories, and subscribe to our channel 
for more updates.